Welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans to Beloit, Kansas. Campus of Beloit Junior Senior High School. Dale Leach here for Eagle Communications Channel 20 for a video replay and CityLinkTV.com Minneapolis Channel for a live video broadcast tonight of the game. It's the games between Minneapolis High School and Beloit Trojans. It's getting started a little early tonight due to the inclement weather that's on its way. It'll be a 5.15 tip-off five minutes from now. Give you a little rundown on uh, these two teams. Beloit, the girls are six and two overall, and three and one in the league. Second place in the league behind Russell. They're coached by Shauna Remus. They average 45 points and give up an average of 40 points, so they are plus five on scoring. Their last game, they beat Chapman pretty handily. 19 points here at home last Tuesday. The big loss to uh, was a couple weeks ago, actually three weeks ago or so, back in December to Southeast of Saline here at home for the Lady Trojans. Your Lady Lions are three and six overall. They're one and four in the league. They average 34 points a game, and their opponents average 38, so we're running almost a minus five on the scoring deficit. Minneapolis is currently in sixth place in the league. This is the 96th game in the series, dating back to 1975. Beloit leads the series 56 to 39. Here at Beloit, they lead the series 33 to 13. Beloit has won the last nine games in a row. The last Minneapolis win in the series was on January 16, 2015 at Minneapolis. Last Tuesday, the Lady Lions lost to uh, Valley Heights by a score of 40 to 28. Biggest girl on the lineup for uh, Beloit is Shay Larson, a junior, six foot tall. They also, also start a five foot 10, well, I don't know if they start her, but she plays regularly. Uh, Porsche, Porsche Cooper, number 24, she's 5'10". And they've got another couple of girls of pretty decent height that score regularly. Trinity Wagner, five foot eight senior, and Sydney Barrett a 5'7 senior. Boys game is going to be also scheduled early. They're scheduled to go at 6.30 tonight. But since we're supposed to get, uh, I don't know, four, six, seven, eight inches of snow, we're starting the game early. Hopefully we can get home before the snow sets in too seriously tonight. Caroline Giles started for the Lady Lions. Beloit, 
Trinley Wagner for the Lady Trojans, 5'8 senior. Percy Nelson starting for the Lady Lions, a junior. Breezy Schroeder, 5'6 junior, number three. Zoe Shoup starting for the Lady Lions, a junior. Number 10, Jessica Meir, a junior. Prisma Venaria, senior, starting for the Lady Lions. Fifteen, Shay Larson, six foot junior, starting. And in the post for the Lady Lions, Kylie Fuller, a senior. Twenty-four, no, thirty-four, Sydney Barrett, starting for the Trojans, also. Larson will jump for the Lady Trojans against Kylie Fuller for Minneapolis. And the Trojans control the tip. They drive in. Shot is up, no good. Rebound to Zoe Shoup. Shoup drives into the paint, kicks it down to Giles. Shot is up, no good. Uh, nurse Kirstie Nelson with the uh, rebound, her follow up is no good. And the Lions tie it up. Possession arrow to Minneapolis. So turnover on Beloit. Shoot across the timeline. Get it down low to Vener Fuller it up then for two. Two to nothing, Minneapolis. Here in the early going. They get it down to Larson, she's double teamed. She kicks it to another player. They get the rebound up and in. The ball's tipped away from Fuller as they try to get it inside. Turnover on the Lady Lions. Three pointer is good by number three, Schroeder. Shoot, gets it in for two. I threw it away, but they rescue it, get the shot up, no good. Veneri with the rebound for Minneapolis. Oh, 
Shots up by Veneri for two. The Lions take a six to four lead. Six to five. Excuse me. Three seconds on the Lady Trojans. Courtney Forte comes in for the Lady Lions. With an area on the outside, locks the three, turns it down, out to shoot. Shoots away out front now. Drives to the free throw line. That has it taken away from her. It is a turnover for Minneapolis. Shot. Oh. Rebound by the Lions. Shoot for two more. An 8-5 lead for the Lady Lions. Another miss. Courtney Forte with the rebound. Second time out on the uh, for Beloit. Meyer with the foul, her first. and then bounds it for the Lady Lions, gets it to Giles, out to Veneri. Long three-pointer is front rims, no good. Giles ends up with the rebound. You get a blocking foul on the Trojans. Forte to the line for two. First one's good. Second one's on its way. Good, but stepped over the line, maybe. Fuller comes in and at Actually, we rock sits down. The score is nine to five, Minneapolis. Turnover by the Trojans, picked up by Forte. Layup by Veneri is good, and the Lions take an 11 to 5 lead. And a travel on the Lady Trojans. 
their fourth turnover of the night. Shoot comes in to replace Veneri. Shoot dribbling around the horn. Get it into Veneri, back in the game. They have a foul on the shot. First free throw is off. Larson with the foul. Second free throw short. So 11 to five, the score, Minneapolis leading. Turnover on the Lady Trojans, their fifth of the quarter here. Shoot drives out to Nelson, takes a three, it's off. Fuller will foul on the rebound attempt. Four drives, kicks it out front. Turnover on the Trojans. Their sixth turnover of the quarter here. The Lady Lions defense doing a great job. Now the Lady Lion turnover. Three-point attempt by 34 is good for the Trojans. Makes it 11 to eight Minneapolis here with 24 seconds to go in the first period. They get it in the fuller, she travels. Got double teamed. Fourth turnover on the Lady Lions. 13 seconds left in the quarter. Another turnover on the Trojans. Shoop comes up with it. Minneapolis cannot uh, get down the court in time to put up a shot, but Continue their great defensive play. 
after one quarter play, lead the Trojans 11 to eight. I apologize, we have to look through that fan, but that's the way it is here. They'll each communication channel 20, citylinktv.com, Minneapolis. Be back with you shortly. Have the ball with the possession arrow. Minneapolis up 11 to eight after one period. Another turnover on the Lady Trojans. Veneri with the three, it's off. Rebound to the Lady Trojans. And we have a foul. Shoot with her foul. First foul, I should say. A three-pointer attempt is no good. Trojans come up with the rebound. And that shot was up and in by Jessica Meyer. Veneri, or excuse me, Nelson shoots a pass over Giles, gets through her legs. Fifth turnover on the Lady Lions. Scores 11 10, Minneapolis. Thirty four puts up a deuce, no good. Fuller rips that away. And we throw it away on the fast break attempt. Trojans with the ball, 6.35 to go here in the second quarter. Minneapolis up 11 to 10. Thirty-four's turnaround is good for two. Sydney Barrett, five foot seven senior. Nelson out to Veneri. A three pointer for Charisma is good. Makes it 14 to 12, Minneapolis. 22 shot from the side is good. Over to Giles on the left side. Her shot is blocked by the Trojans. And they get the rebound. And they come. The score is 14-14. Get things caught up here on the scoreboard. Giles with the rebound. He's tied it from behind. Possession arrow is to the Lady Lions. 14 all here, 520 to go. 30 second timeout taken by the Lady Lions. Apologize, we've had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties to get this game started. We missed most of the first quarter on the video live feed. Been playing catch up. The score is 14 to 14 in favor of the Lady Lions, or excuse me, tied Lady Lions with the uh, Trojans. And Minneapolis had a five or six point lead at one point in the first quarter. After the first quarter, they led 11 to eight. 
Ashley Reebok will inbound for the Lady Lions. Gets it to Zoe Shoot. Shoot on the right wing. Gets it over to Giles on the left wing now. Looking inside. There it is down to Forte. Turn around. Jumper's no good, but she's fouled. Portia Cooper with the foul. Courtney to the line. Courtney Forte to the line for two. She hit one of two before. Second one's on its way and good. So Minneapolis takes the lead again, 15 to 14. Four fifty eight here to go in the second quarter. A foul on the Lady Lions. Fuller with her second. Schroeder for two free throws. Gets the first. Second free throw coming. And good. Gives the Trojans a 16 to 15 lead. Shot is off. Beloit gets the rebound. Here they come on the fast break. And a turnover again by the Trojans, picked up by Giles. Grisma Venere with a runner. Beloit with Trojan uh, rebound and 34. Sydney Barrett is fouled. Ashley Reebrock with the foul. They get it inside to Barrett. Turnaround jumper is good. An 18 to 15 lead for the Lady Trojans. The line's on the attack. Nelson out to Veneri. Over to Giles on the right wing. Out of bounds off the Trojans there. Venary for three. It's off. Larson with the rebound for the Lady Trojans. Three pointer for Schroeder is good. Using that's Barrett. Trojans are starting to heat up now. 21-15, Beloit. Reed Brock on the right wing in the Nelson in the paint. And a three-second call. Forte and Shoop in for Minneapolis. Forte kicks the ball away from Larson. They get it back. Forte with the rebound off the Beloit miss. Giles on the right wing over to Venere. Now Shoop on the left wing. Beloit in a 2-3 zone. Nelson for three, it's off. 
Giles with the rebound. Forte up and in. Twenty-one to seventeen, Beloit. Shoop with the rebound off the miss for the Trojans. Out to Veneri. Now Nelson on the left wing inside to Giles, and it's tipped away from her. Turnover to Beloit. Clock is stopped. Beloit with the full timeout. With 1.43 to go here in the second quarter, it's Beloit with the four point lead, 21 to 17. Minneapolis had a 11 to eight lead after one. Been outscored a little bit here in the second quarter. But overall, the Lady Lions are playing a very good game. Okay, 140 to go here in the first half, second quarter. Lloyd drives inside the free throw line, shots up, no good. Shoop with the rebound. Shoop gets it over to Nelson. It's tied up, possession arrow to the Lady, line, to the lady Trojans. 124 to go in the half. Trojans on the tack, leading by four. You get the Larson inside, now it's 22, up and in. Shoot to Venere, three-pointer, no good. Rebound to the Trojans. Three-pointer is off. Rebound to Forte. And a turnover on the Lady Lions. That's gotta be a traveling, maybe not. Forte, or Venary Bat had to rebound. A, uh, Turnover. Repay there. Larson from the outside is no good. Veneri with the rebound. From the Lions, three on two. Veneri with the shot layup from the left is no good. After one half a play. The Trojans lead 23 to 17. The Trojans outscored the Lions 15 to 6 in the second quarter after the Lions had scored. 11 in the opening quarter. So the offensive output not as good for the Lions. And Beloit picked up their game. We'll be back in a little bit with the first half wrap up. Okay, here's a little wrap up for first quarter action. The unofficial stats. I'm off by a point for the Lady Trojans, but here, here goes anyway. Uh, 
Again, the Lions led many uh, Beloit Trojans 11 to eight after the first quarter. Trojans had several turnovers, missed several shots. Trojans came back and outscored Minneapolis 23 to six in the second frame to take the 23, excuse me, 15 to six in the second frame to take the 23 to seven lead. Scoring for the Trojans, number 34, Sidney Barrett, 5'7", senior with seven points. Number 10, Jessica Mayer, 5'4", junior, two points. Shay Larson, the six foot junior, number 15. I have with zero points, one foul. Number three, Breezy Schroeder with five, with nine points, excuse me, no, that would make seven points for her and I'm, I'm off by a tray. Seven points for Schroeder. Number 24, uh, Porsche Cooper, 5'10", sophomore, no points. Trinity Wagner, number one, zero points. Tia Ellers, number 22, with four points. Uh, missing some points for the Trojans. For Minneapolis, Caroline Giles, number two, the senior with zero points, three rebounds. Number four, Percy Nelson, the junior, zero points, two rebounds. Number 10, Zoe Shoup with six points, three rebounds. 15, Charisma Veneri, seven points, two rebounds. Number 33, Kylie Fuller, zero points, one rebound. She missed a pretty good chunk of the second quarter with fouls. And uh, sophomore number 21, Courtney Forte, four points, three rebounds. And those are the only scores from Minneapolis. Rebounds, roughly Beloit had eight, Minneapolis 14. Each squad I have down with 10 turnovers. So that's all unofficial and obviously I'm off on some of the points. We'll try to get some of those recouped if we can. We'd like to thank our sponsors that are helping out with live streaming costs here. The Crooked Nail Studio and Alexis Kern. Cropland Cross Insurance, John Pruitt. Klein Oil Company of Delphus, Jim Klein. The hometown Hardware, Pam Barker and Vicki Kaufman. Sunflower Realty with Monty Nelson. And Auto Tech, Gary Keating and Dave Sweat. Also like to thank the Davidson Agency, Lyle Davidson, your nationwide insurance dealer and an independent insurance agent. You can reach Lyle at 785-523-4202 with offices in Bennington, Delphus, and Minneapolis. They offer a wide range of companies and products. I'd like to thank the Citizen State Bank and Trust Company of Delphus, Glasgow, and Minneapolis. Contact Owen Kendall or Jared Schmidt for all your banking needs. The bank features online banking, deposit accounts, loans, investment and trust services, and the farm and ranch center. I'd like to thank the DM Body Shop, Mr. John Wright. You can contact John at 785 392 2666 for all your auto body and glass needs. They're located at 1206 North 120th Road in Minneapolis. And we wish to thank also the Scott Osherman Agency, your American Family Insurance Agent. You can reach Scott at 785 392 3111. Have offices in Minneapolis and Belleville. The score, 23 to 17 in favor of the Lady Trojans after one half of play. Be back in a couple minutes for the second half of basketball. We're getting ready to go here in the second half, third quarter. Lions trailing 23 to 17. Minneapolis has the possession error, so in, will inbound the ball. Shoop, Giles, Nelson, Veneri, and Fuller will be on the floor to start the half for the Lady Lions. 
Giles will inbound it on the far side, gets it to shoot. Giles on the right wing, looks over to shoot. On the right side, back to Giles. Maneri on the left wing now, comes to the front. Catch Giles on the right side, three-pointer, short. Forte with the rebound up and in. Excuse me, Fuller. Get it into Larson inside. She's double teamed. Turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound to the Trojans. Two rebounds. And Meyer with the rebound or gets the points. Out of bounds off the Trojans, they get their first turnover of the half. Or off Minneapolis, excuse me. First turnover on the Lady Lions of the half. Yes, Meyer, for Meyer for two for the Trojans. Turns out to a Fuller with three bounds, she's fouled. First free throw is no good. Second free throws is in. A banker that counts. Turnover on the Trojans. Venary comes up with it. She's fouled. Forte, or excuse me, Nelson for three. Count it. Her first points of the game. 27 to 23 in favor of the Lady Trojans. Long two for Larson. Giles with a long shot that draws nothing. Out of bounds to the Trojans. Larson kicks it off to Meyer. Three-pointer is no good. Larson with the rebound. I have a turnover on the Lady Trojans. Actually, the foul. Her second foul. Actually, they've got three on her. Venary to Giles, back to Venary. Two, three zone still for the Lady Trojans. Uh, Nelson drives in, her shot's no good. Rebound to the Lady Trojans. Three takes three pointer and it's good. That is Frader. Her second 
Three point of the game. Minneapolis with a timeout. 30 second time. The Lions now trailing by nine again. 32 to 23. 430 remaining here in the third quarter. Again, we wish to thank our sponsors of these video broadcasts. Autotech, Gary Keating and Dave Sweat. Sunflower Realty with Monty Nelson. Hometown Hardware with Pam Barker and Vicki Kaufman. Back to the game. Shoot to Nelson. Shoot on the right side now. Get it inside to Forte. Out to Venere for three. Rims off. Nelson fights for the rebound and gets it. And we have a foul on the Trojans, I do believe. Meyer with the foul, it's her second. Nelson gets it in the shoot. Lions trailing by nine here. Venary to shoot. And the Lady Lions about lose it to pick it back up. Shoot down the right side. Gets it to Venary inside and it's in for two. A steal by Shoup, lay in for two. Eight points for Shoup on the night. Drive in, shot's good. Jess Meyer. You get it inside Forte. Her shot is blocked. Rebound to the Trojans. 34 27. 220 remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans with the lead. Our shots off, no good. Shoot with the rebound. And we about lose it, but fortunately retain possession. Trojans bat out of steel, but could not uh, control the feet. Giles comes in from Minneapolis. Balls into Venere. Tipped out by the Trojans. 154 left here in the third. Now out to Giles. Nelson on the right wing. Kicks it inside to Reebrock. Her shot is blocked, she's fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Cooper, her second foul. Reed Brock. First free throw up. 
No good. Had the distance off to the left. Second one's up. In and out. Fuller with the rebound up and in. Turnover, Beloit. Shoops in for the Lady Lions. Shoop out the Giles. She drives. Puts up a runner. No good. Off of Fuller on the rebound attempt. Trojans bring the ball up court to end, try to end out the third quarter here. And they throw it away. Tried to get it down to a post player and the post player was not looking. Out of bounds it goes to Minneapolis. Shooting out the ball. Inside to Fuller, she takes a step, shots up, and no good. She gets her rebound, she's fouled. Not a shooting foul. Wagner with the foul, her second. Try to get in the Fuller again. Bit of lines about lose it, but picked up by Veneri, 15 seconds left. Shoot, down the Nelson, she drives in. Five footer from the side is good. Exit 34-31, Beloit. Long shot is no good for the Trojans. So the Lions stage a little comeback here in the first, the third quarter. Outscoring the Trojans 14 to nine in the third stanza. The trail by three here, 34 to 31. We lost to thank our other sponsors, the Crooked Nail Studio at the Lexus Turn. Fine Oil Company to Delphi is the Jim Klein and the Crossland Crop Insurance, John Pruitt. Also, the Scott Oshman Insurance Agency, your American Family Insurance Agent. Call Scott at 75 392 3111 at the offices of Minneapolis and Belleville for your insurance needs. Beloit will start the uh, proceedings here in the fourth quarter with possession arrow. Leading by three. Shoot kicks it out of bounds. Beloit gets it back. Meyer drives, kicks it down low to Larson, turned over, picked up by Shoot. Possession arrow to Minneapolis, turnover Beloit. Shoot brings the ball up court here. Lions trailing by three. Nelson. 
Canary here on the left side. Back to Nelson on the right wing. Shoop on the right side. Nelson takes the three. It's off. Canary with the rebound. She comes out. The runner is good. 34-33, Beloit. Larson with the rebound, and she's fouled. Shot was good. Larson will go to the line for one. Fuller gets her third foul. And that one's good. Nelson down to Giles. Canary here on the left wing. Shoop on the right side, kicks it into Venere, and it's tipped away, rescued by Shoop. Tried to get it down to Fuller. Nobody there. Come the Trojans leading 37-33. Schroeder with two points, and she's foul. We'll go to the line for one. Foul was on Giles, her first. Free throw is out. Rebound to the... Taylor with the rebound and the basket. Fuller gets a rebound. Schroeder with her foul. Her second. Minneapolis takes a full timeout. Trailing Beloit. I got behind on updating here. It's 41 to 33. Back with the nine point advantage for the Trojans. 6.06 remaining in the fourth quarter. Beloit has seven fouls, so Fuller should be at the line for a one and one. Minneapolis has two fouls in the half. Shot is on its way and good. So she gets a bonus shot. Second one's good also. Come the Trojans, leading by seven. Kick it down to Ayler for two. Forty-three thirty-five Trojans. Giles on the right wing. Kicks it out to Nelson, takes a three. It's off. Fuller with the rebound, up and it's off. Ranieri will foul Barrett on the rebound attempt. Larson for the Trojans gets it to Barrett. Three-pointer from the left is no good. 
Nelson tracks it down. Minneapolis, two on one. She goes from left, it's no good. Venary with the rebound, no good. Shoop with the rebound, she's fouled. for shoot. First one is no good. Rebound to Heiler. Uh, Beloit. Larson dumps it down low to Barrett. Meyer for two, the runner. 10 point advantage now for the Trojans. Venary for three, boom. Tipped away, the Lions come up with it. Full timeout for the Lady Lions here. After that Beloit turnover. The score is Beloit 45, Minneapolis 38, the Lions with the ball. Four twenty-eight remaining in the third quarter. Minneapolis will inbound the ball here on the Beloit end to start things up. Trailing by seven. Free Brock to shoot. Giles on the right side, Shoop on the right wing now. Down the child, Giles on the right side, gets it to Fuller. Shots no good, no fouls. Out of bound to Minneapolis. Nelson inbounds for Minneapolis. Gets it to Shoop. Venary on the inside, puts up a little shot, no good. Rebound to the Trojans. Another turnover off the Trojans. Comes Giles for the Lady Lions, trailing by seven. Three pointer by Nelson. Makes it 45 41, Beloit. We have a foul on Reedbrock, I do believe. Second shot made of the game for. Nelson and they're both threes. Nelson about with a steal. Good man to man defense here by the Lady Lions. Barrett for three, it rims out. Nelson rips that away. Tries to rip it away from Larson, but the possession arrow goes to the Lady Trojans. So 
So Beloit gets another crack at it here. Leading by three. Larson for two is in. Fuller. Is tied up. Possession error to Minneapolis. Gets the Fuller on the right wing. Meyer goes for steal. Venere keeps her from getting that steal and Meyer fouls. It's her third. We'll put Venere to the line for a one and one. No good. Larson with the rebound for the Trojans. Steal by the combination of the Lions. Shoot comes up with it. Her shot is good. We have a timeout. Full timeout for the Lady Trojans. 2.15 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Your Minneapolis Lady Lions are playing an outstanding game, trailing the home court Trojans by a scant four points. They have 43 points, they average. We might get this here. Minneapolis has been averaging. Thirty-three point eight points per game. So we're almost ten points over our average. This is the high, high scoring for the season, I believe. The light will inbound after the timeout. Two fifteen remaining. Full court press for the Lady Lions. They have fouls to give. We just have four fouls. Eilert on the left. It's out of bounds. Tipped out by the Lions. Barrett for the Trojans. Guarded closely by Nelson. Meyer drives in, kicks it out front to Eilert. Tenacious man-to-man -man defense by the Lady Lions. Tipped away by Veneri. She's fouled. Tenth turnover on the Trojans here in the second half. Minneapolis with one, according to my figures. I could be off. Two shots. It's a double bonus for Veneri. This is the first. Second one's on its way and good. Three-point deficit for the Lady Lions now. Well, it's going to continue to try to run some clock. Full timeout taken for the Trojans. They have one 30-second timeout left, according to my books. The Lions with uh, two full timeouts left according to my books. We'll find out if those are accurate. Courtney Forte is going to come in for the Lady Lions. 
It's 47-44, 126 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Lady Lions are definitely playing the best ball of the game, excuse me, the season that I've seen. They're playing tenacious ball. They're shooting fairly well, rebounding well. And the impressive thing is they're not turning the ball over. At least this half. They had 10 turnovers the first half, but I have them for one in this half. They get it to Meyer, and she's fouled immediately by Giles. Her second 15 foul. Back court called. Great defensive effort again by the Lady Lions. They tied that ball up and uh, wrestling the ball away, they stepped into the back court. 121 to go in the fourth. Lions trailing 47 43, 44, excuse me. Shoot to Veneri, she drives, kicks it back to shoot, over to Nelson here. Veneri at the top of the key, boom! Ties it at 47, another turnover on the Trojans. We have a timeout, Lady Lions. 50.4 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Lions with possession. Tied at 47. I wouldn't have thought it possible, quite honestly. And I have to ask the Lady Lions forgiveness. I didn't know if they had this in them, folks. They have played an outstanding game here tonight against the Lady, host Lady Trojans. Nelson will inbound from the right side. Gets it to Giles on the deep right side. Up front to Nelson. Giles on the right wing. Back to Fuller. Trojans come out to man to man now. Lions are going to be content to go for a last shot here. Shoop on the left wing. Gets it to Giles. Over to Nelson on the right wing. Shoop on the right wing now. 15 seconds. Out to Shoop. She drives, puts up a shot. It's no good. Beloit with the rebound. Tipped out by Veneri. Veneri with the foul. Excuse me but doesn't put the uh, Trojans at the free throw line. Come the Trojans with the last gasp of effort, see if they can win the game. Barrett with the long three, it's short. 47 to 47 after one full game and we go to OT. Woo.
be a four minute overtime period. The score tied at 47. The Lady Lions outscore the Trojans 16 to 13 in the final stanza. The, fi the fourth quarter, I should say, of this contest. have a tip here to start the fourth quarter or the overtime. Kylie Fuller will tip for the Lady Lions against Larson for the Trojans. Minneapolis controls. Shoot down the Nelson. Shoot over to Giles on the left wing inside the Nelson. Dumps it down to Fuller. Shots blocked. Beloit comes up with the rebound. And uh, Nelson makes a steal attempt. It's out of bounds to Beloit. Larson at the top of the key. Looks over to Barrett on the right wing. She drives in, kicks it up. Front to Meyer. Two-point shot is no good. Eilert with the rebound for Beloit. Her shot is off, but she's fouled. Venary with her second foul. Seventh team foul on the Lions. Eilert to the, Ellers to the line for two. She gets the first of two. Second one's on its way and good. Giles back to Venary who gets the ball across the timeline. Oh, Minneapolis throws it away. Few, one of the few turnovers they've had in the second half. Giles closely guards uh, Meyer. Tie up, arrow goes to Beloit. 250 remaining here in the overtime. Beloit with the ball. Chance to see if they can go up by four or more. No good. They get the rebound. Up and in. Schroeder with the rebound and the basket. She'll go to the line for one. Fuller with the foul. Free throw is up and good. And we throw it away. All of a sudden, we are turnover happy. Four shot is no good. Rebounded by Beloit. Two twelve to go here in overtime. Tie up. Possession arrow to Minneapolis. The 
Lions trailing 47 42. 52, actually, excuse me. Veneri with another three pointer. Makes it 52 50, Minneapolis. They get it down low to Larson. Shots up and in. Turnover on Minneapolis. And a timeout, Minneapolis. Exciting, exciting game here for the Lions trailing by four, 54 to 50. 130 left in the first overtime. The overtime was pretty much uh, gone Beloit's way, having outscored the Lions seven to three so far. But there's a minute and a half left. Unfortunately, Beloit has the ball. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Nobody for Beloit was stepping up to throw it in. But now they do. Tipped away and picked up by Forte. Gets it down to shoot. She tries to get it over to Giles. Tied up. Back to Forte. Out to Nelson. Boom! Veneri! Fifty four fifty three Beloit. Down to Larson, shot is no good, she's fouled. Veneri picks up the foul, her third, I believe. Nope, it's fourth, according to the clock. Larson's first free throw is no good. And uh, Fuller is coming in for Forte, who made a great defensive play there a few seconds ago. Larson with that free throw. Fifty-five, fifty-three, Beloit. We get inside a minute left in the overtime period. Nelson drives, has it tipped away, picked up by the Trojans, and the foul. Nelson picks up a foul, her first. Double bonus shot here. For Barrett, I do believe it is. Second one's on its way, and good. Beloit with 30 second timeout. The score is 56 to 53 in favor of the Trojans with 39.3 seconds left on the clock. Minneapolis with the ball.
Veneri has hit three three-pointers here in the last quarter and overtime. So don't count the Lions out yet. Shoot, the top of the key. Nelson for three, it's short. Giles with the rebound. It's off of the Trojans. Twenty-two seconds left in the overtime. Nelson to Fuller. Nelson for three. That one looks good. And a steal by Giles. The shot's no good. Shoot with the rebound. No good. Fuller with the rebound. It's good. <laughs> Boyd gets a timeout with a few seconds left on the clock. Excuse my excitement, folks. <laughs> Let's see how much time they're gonna put on the clock here. Minneapolis with the 58 to 56 lead. First time they've led in a while. They're putting 1.5 seconds on the clock. Beloit will have to bring it the full length of the court. Be still my heart. The Lions have to be sure they do not foul. We'll put Beloit at the line for two if they do. My goodness, what a flurry to end that. Almost in that. Uh, and it's picked off by Nelson to end the game. Your Minneapolis Lions, 58 to 56 over the Beloit Trojans here in overtime. Absolutely astounding. The Lions score 58 points, averaging 33.8 coming into this game. Three point shots falling everywhere. Great defense. Very few turnovers. What else can one say? Enjoy this victory, Lions fans. One of the most astounding girls games I've seen in a long, long time. We'll be back for a little wrap up. Okay, welcome back to the wrap up for this game. Uh, unofficial scoring and I'm probably off, especially for Beloit. For the game is uh, seven points, Sydney Barrett, number 34, the senior. No points in the second half, according to my tally, and that's a significant factor. Number 10, Jessica Meyer, 10 points. Number 15, Shay Larson, the post, with 10 points. Number three, Breezy Schrader, 15 points. Portia Cooper, zero points. Zero points for Trinity Wagner and nine points for Tia Eilers off the bench. They had 16 rebounds in the second half, 24 total, and 15 turnovers in the second half and overtime, 25 for the game. That just killed them, folks. Great defense by the Lady Lions. Again, unofficial scoring for the Lions. Car Caroline Giles, zero points, four rebounds. Percy Nelson, I have her six points, four rebounds. Zoe Shoup, 14 points, six rebounds. 15, Charisma Veneri, eight, excuse me, 19 points, 
and four rebounds. Kylie Fuller, nine points, seven rebounds. All those points are in the second half. Courtney Forte, number 21, four points, three rebounds. And that rounds out the scoring. The Lions committed just five turnovers in the second half. 15 for the game. That was a big, huge factor in the game besides all the shots we finally hit. 28 rebounds total for Minneapolis, 14 in each half. Uh, recap the scoring, 11 for Minneapolis, 8 for Beloit in the first quarter. They outscore us 15 to 6 in the second quarter. We outscore them 14 to 9 in the third. 16 to three in the fourth and eight. eight to six. I have the, my score reversed here. You say that's not adding up. <laughs> we outscored them 11 to seven in the OT. Quite a game by the Lady Lions. What are your thoughts on that, Scott? Did you see, see any of it? Actually, I did. I keep, yeah, got here about the time of the uh, the start of the the end of the first half, so I got to watch the entire second half, and uh, I thought our bar, ball control was much improved. I heard you talk a little bit about turnovers. Um, our defensive intensity, Caroline Giles um, and Kirsty Nelson, uh, just actually all the girls, but those two in particular did a great job of uh, ball hawking and uh, getting a lot of loose balls and getting some steals and paid off at the very end as well in overtime uh, for the last second shot. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Well, for our Lion play of the game, I'm going to go with uh, the bucket to ensure the win at the end by Kylie Fuller. And then I'm going to go with the Lion player of the game, Charisma Veneri, unofficially 19 points. She had four three-pointers in the game. Her last three shots were all three-pointers that she made. Just a fantastic. I, I've, I can't remember when I've seen the Minneapolis Lady Lions play such a game, Scott. Yeah, I, you I know, and I'm not bad mouthing them. No, it's no. just I haven't seen they, a play like this they, forever. They have the athleticism, and they have great, a great amount of athleticism, and the shots start started to fall tonight, and that's what was exciting about the girls tonight. And Beloit was playing the zone, yep. and we just shot over them. It was just incredible, absolutely incredible. So the Lady Lions increased their record to four and six overall and two and four in the league and will play at El Saline next Tuesday night while the guys are down at uh, Halstead. Halstead in the Adolph Rupp tournament. What was the Beloit's record, uh, the girls? The girls were uh, six and two overall. Wow. Big win. Yeah, huge win. Absolutely huge. They were three and one in the league, second place. So. Yeah. Just incredible. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so now we just you see if we can get a miracle out of the boys. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, folks, we're going to sign off and get ready for the boys again coming up. Thanks for listening. As always, Dale Leach, Regal Communications, Channel 20. Scott Osherman.